Hello and welcome to Code Hacks. In this video, I want to show you a couple of ways to grab user ID from identity. Here, I have already created a new project using CLI and Razor page template. Then I added identity and there is a database here called app db using sqlite first let's run it and register with a new username here i have a user already registered in my application and the first thing i want to do is to show the user id here under this welcome title first i define a new property from type string and i call it user id so user id would be equal to user find first claim types there's a using name identifier and we want the value bar let's save it and go to this page view and let's have an h2 user id at sign model dot user dot. let's save it and now we can run it again and see the user id in index page dot net run let's refresh the page again and there we have the user id in index page this is not the best way to grab user id from identity and um, but it works and now i want to show you a couple of other ways that may be more useful the problem with this approach is we always have to write down all this code just to grab user id and uh, we need user ID a lot in almost every part of our applications we need to get user ID and save it in a database or to check if user has access to something it would be better if we could put this code somewhere that we could use it easier one way to do it is to use base model we have a page model here and we can define a new page model inherited from page model and uh, put this user id in our base class uh, let's see how it works let's create a new folder here and name it common and i want to have a new class as my page.cs and there is a namespace my app dot common and i need a class named my page inherits from page model and it's a public class need a using here now i can put a user id property and get it here i go back to index page and cut this user id from this class and put it here also i grab this and i no longer need this user id i go back to my page there is no set here and we need a get method and we need to return this user find first we need to add this claims type namespace let's save all before I could run the project, I need to inherit from my page, not from page model. Also need to add namespace here. So we have a new base class called my page. It is inheriting from page model and also it has user ID in it. So if I run the project again now, everything should work the same except we don't need to define a user id property in every page model all we need is to inherit from this class and use it 
inside our page class. Let's run the project again and see if it's working. Let's refresh the page again. So it's working and we have user ID without defining it inside our page class. Using inheritance and a base class is a much better approach because you write less codes and you can maintain it in just one place and use it everywhere. But depending on your situation, there may be even better solutions. Now let's create a C Sharp extension to get user ID. To save you some time, I already wrote this code which is a simple C Sharp extension. It has only one method called get user ID. It's an static method and uses this claims principal object and returns the username identifier, which is the user ID. To use it, uh, we go back to our index model and remove this my page and use page model as before. Next, I defined the property name user ID. Now, all I have to do is to use this user ID equals to user and I call this get user ID here. I have to point out that this is using this namespace here and everywhere you have this namespace, you can use this method. Now we can run the project again and see if it's working. I use .NET run here. Let's refresh the page again. And again, we have the user ID here. So this is another way to get user ID in your page classes. It should work the same in controllers and in web API classes. In this video, I use three different ways to get user ID from identity in an ASP.NET Core application. There are other ways like using action filters and that would be the topic for my next video. I hope you like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.